Thanks to Amaze for sponsoring this video. Enter for your chance to win at omaze.com slash Haxman. Welcome back guys. Today, I got a problem, okay? Remember about two months ago, whenever I installed this Kentucky floorboard fence, Mark from SWI Fence came and we put this in. In the meantime, I have stained it with the wood defender stain that Mark sells and I love it. I love the way it looks. Love everything about the way it looks, but it's built wrong. Let me, let me kind of show you what the, the problem is. There's actually two problems with it. Yeah, namely a German Shepherd named Storm and a Belgian Malinois named Havoc. They are the reason this fence was put up primarily, hopefully to show them where our property line ended and they would understand that all oh, this is not theirs. Mark asked me when we put this up, he said, you know, do you want to put welded wire fence down in the back of this to keep the dogs in? And I said, no, because that's not going to work because they can just jump this fence anyway, no problem. And I'm going to put some shrubs up and stuff. Well, I haven't gotten the shrubs up. So I called Mark and I said, what is the best way for me to fix this? Because, you know, just to be clear, Mark did everything right and built this fence beautifully. Here's what he said I need to do. I've got to pull all of these boards off and then I've got to stretch the fence across the posts tightly and then I've got to replace the boards on the front of it. Well, um, ain't nobody got time for that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a situation that was done wrong because of me and I'm gonna fix it in the wrong way, okay? I told Mark what I was gonna do was use some of this black welded wire fencing. I have this left over from when we did the fencing around our garden in the backyard. And Mark has advised me that this is not the proper way to do it, but I'm gonna disappoint him. I'm gonna break his heart because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to cut these pieces and put them on the back of the fence and uh, attach them. It's not that my dogs are mean by any means. Does that make sense? But they are very protective and you know, I showed a video, I had a video on my channel a while back, maybe about, I don't know, a year ago, that uh, I kind of, it was security cam footage. I'll, I'll show that to you right now, actually. Actually, you know what, before I show you that video, let me show you my new ride. I'm kidding, it's not mine. This is an Airstream Interstate 24X, and you can win it. Thanks to Amaze for sponsoring this video. You want a luxury custom coach with off-road ability, best-in-class safety, and performance? This is it. It has a configurable cabin so you'll feel at home anywhere on the map. The outside is finished in iridium silver while the interior with red rock decor seats six and sleeps two. It has an air ride suspension, expansive solar power, bathroom with a toilet, shower and sink, and a kitchen with a cooktop, microwave and fridge. Of course, it also has a configurable bed, side awning and two exterior wash stations. I want it. Donate 10 bucks and you are entered for a chance to win this beast. You'll be supporting the Jimmy Johnson Foundation, which is dedicated to assisting children, families, and communities throughout the United States. The foundation currently focuses on supporting K-12 public and charter schools in California, North Carolina, and Oklahoma through their Champions Grant Program to help address critical needs. For your chance to win this cutting-edge Airstream Interstate 24X and support a great cause, enter at omaze.com slash Haxman. So here's the security cam footage. I'm in my office working on the computer and in a minute you'll hear Storm barking and that's what I heard when I realized she was actually outside. So this worker is at the window by where Kim and the girls are having homeschool. You see the door open up? That is because Storm opened it. And then she comes running out and of course scares the guy. Now she doesn't try to bite him because she won't do that. But what she was trained to do was to keep anybody that is a threat basically at a distance and that's what she's doing pretty good here although she shouldn't have done it here and it uh, scared the mess out of me she's not like a fully trained protection dog or anything but when we got her she did have six months of training well what they don't necessarily tell you is when you get a dog like that that six months of training wears off a fully trained protection dog is you know they have like two years of training so I'm not even trying to compare her to that remotely. So don't misunderstand me. When we first got her out here, I could, anybody that came out here to the yard uh, as they were working, I could go outside with her just off leash by my side. And uh, she'd just go up to somebody and, you know, sniff them and make sure they were okay. And, and they were fine. I mean, anybody could come in the house. She'd walk right beside them 
and I think she just got tired of everybody being out here working on the house for that amount of time. And then after that happened, I think, and I, I don't know everything about dogs, but I think just something switched in her brain that said when people come out here, uh, they could be out here to hurt the family or whatever. You know, and thankfully that guy, he was like a roofer or something. Uh, he was very understanding and very uh, nice. And I was extremely apologetic about it uh, because obviously it was my fault. Havoc is our one-year-old Malinois. And of course he's just a puppy basically. And again, super friendly, super loving with everybody. He's actually about as chill as a Malinois can be, I'm pretty sure. But once I get this up, and clearly I need some child labor here to help me hold this up, I'm gonna go get some child labor here in a second. Um, I'm gonna test them, and I'm gonna see if I can agitate them. <laughs> Enough to actually jump the fence or not. Um, whenever I've had them, I mean, like they can jump in the bed of my dad's pickup truck with the tailgate up. We want them to be agile, but we want to be safe. Okay, beautiful. What I need you to do is hold this. Come over here, come over on this side, and hold that in that corner for me. Let me shove it in there. I can make it any length I want and you know, be able to attach it to the boards. But the problem is once I get down here, if I don't attach it to the post, this thing's just gonna do that, which is totally useless. So it's gotta be wide enough that I can actually attach it here because this will actually serve another purpose. We've been having armadillos come in here and rooting up Kim's vegetables. This is gonna have a jagged edge, but I'm gonna flip it and put this at the bottom. Hello, my love. It's too long. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take forever cutting those things with those snips. Hold that for me, baby. Let's get this done a little bit quicker. All right, children. Daddy didn't bring any safety glasses, so wear safety glasses and y'all stay back. Hold this side, beautiful. Just push that over like that. Kind of hold it there. Now, I took the liberty of using some of my Christmas funds that I had acquired over the holiday. I purchased me a new toy for just such an occasion. Yes, I could drag out the uh, compressor and hose and everything, but um, why do that when I could buy another toy, a tool? And so this is the Milwaukee Narrow Crown Fuel Stapler. And I've, I've tried it a couple times uh, in the garage and it worked really well, we'll see. So I'm using the 18 gauge and I know probably people are gonna say that's not big enough, but you know what, this is, uh, they're galvanized, these galvanized staples. And we're gonna see if they're big enough. As far as holding this, I think it'll be fine. I'm, they're not gonna be having constant pressure put on. I'm not holding cattle in or anything with this thing. Let's see what happens. This is also a, a thin gauge wire. I mean, you can see how easily this stuff bends. Actually, let me not bend my fence. Let me grab a piece here. Uh, so, <laughs> it's not, uh, we're not using top of the line stuff here, but I did want it black to help uh, hide it. You're gonna put that white line right there. Okay, now squeeze the trigger. Look at there. Good job. Right there. Okay. There you go. Good job. I can only imagine how everybody who knows anything about fencing, how horrified they are watching me do this, but you know what? It's working. But I'm out of this fencing, so I'm off to uh, Lowe's to grab some more.
if you're wondering why I'm using six foot fencing, it is because it's the only fencing available uh, where I live. I mean, I could order some, but I don't really want to wait for that. And it's not that much of a cost saving, but I think there was some rolls of three foot that were available. The three foot is too short. Uh, if I could have got 48 inch, that would have been great. So, you know, we're just gonna make it work. I got about a third of the fence done. I'm about to do something. I don't know, maybe it's stupid, maybe it's not. Well, I mean, it's probably stupid. Maybe it's dangerous, maybe it's not. I'm gonna uh, see if I can lure the dogs out here. Kim's gonna come out and while she's walking out here, I'm gonna be out here acting like, uh, I don't know, acting like an idiot. So. I've got my heaviest jacket on. Let's get that on first. Bulletproof vest. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, uh, do it right, okay? Let's go whole hog on this. I'm gonna need to change my hat. Now they haven't seen me bring any of this stuff out. I don't wear my hat backwards, so I'm gonna wear it backwards so it doesn't look like me. Uh, let's see here. What a mask. That looks good. <laughs> yeah. Just to, just to be sure, I'll put these gauntlets on. Because I am about to throw down the gauntlet after all. Get you on that woman. Winch. I need my winch to help me get my armor on. Here, you gotta open it up right there. Yeah. There you go. So, what's gonna happen is, Kim's gonna go inside, and uh, I've got cameras set up everywhere. I got a camera on Storm. And uh, she's gonna come outside and act like she's uh, walking the dog. But I'm gonna be out here acting like an idiot, and we'll see if uh, the dog come after me. This may be my last post. I just feel like I should. Start running around looking like idiots. Another little one. Uh, so they knew it was me. How they know that was me? You wanna get this? You wanna get it? Huh? You want it? You want it? Sit. Sit. Left. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Sit. Right. Good boy. Come here. Sit. Left. Good boy. So the moral of this story is, don't be an idiot like me, okay? I just wasted all that time setting all that stuff up and they didn't even... I think it's because everybody was out here. Kim was out here and Riley was out here and... So they just assumed maybe that, that was me. They know I've been working out here. I don't know, I'm bummed anyway, but glad at the same time. Check out the fence. The front side obviously looks much cleaner. If you're putting up your fence, do it the right way and uh, string your welded wire first. See you next time, guys. Thanks to Amaze for sponsoring this video. Enter for your chance to win at omaze.com slash hacksman.